It's okay, guys. I'll see if I can get some bail money together for you to get you out of there. All right, let's go. What's going on, guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers, you can't mess with me. This is exciting for people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. Everybody, please go subscribe to Paul's Prime Cuts on YouTube. He's getting up there on the subscriber count. And, uh, you know, uh, Paul has these little hidden gems if you've never seen his videos. One, he is absolutely hilarious. What's going on, guys? I, if you watched the last video, I had trailer issues bent the axle on my big trailer. So this thing here is going to be my office until my axle comes in, which could be three weeks, they said. Anyhow, I went and picked it up. Got a couple of issues. You can see that. That's where the plug goes for the light. Ain't no plug on it. So I got no lights. I crawled under it, and the wires are all broke off under there. And one of the lights on the other side broke off. I got a light. I don't, I, I'm going to have to deal with the wire stuff tonight when I come back. But I did uh, hit this uh, wheel here and I can hear it rattling around. So hopefully we just need to tighten up the bearing and lube it up. And it gave me a good idea. Yeah, whatever. But, uh, I know a lot of you guys, if you're in the landscaping business, you pull a trailer and you probably already know how to do your maintenance on your trailer and everything. But we're going to tighten these bearings and I'm going to give you a quick how-to. Why not? Okay. Here we are. But I don't know if you can see that. That's right much play. I'm not comfortable with that, especially when I load this thing up. I'm hoping I can get two mowers on. I doubt it, but I hadn't measured it yet. We're going to measure by putting them on here, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to remedy this. Okay, this part right here is just like a dust cap. You should be able to just simply knock it off. There it goes. Whew, this thing's a mess. Anyway, hopefully the bearings are all right. There's a pin in all this grease right here. Jeez, I need to get a towel and wipe this thing off. I'll be back. Anyway, there's a cotter pin in it right here. I'm gonna try to straighten that out. Simply straighten it out. Simple demonstration here. There it goes, there's your cotter pin. But on this, uh, they call this a castle nut. And you see it kind of looks like a castle or a crown or whatever. But we got some definite play in there. We can take our castle nut. We're gonna tighten it down. Don't want it so tight that the wheel's not turning. We want it tight enough to take that play out. Actually, you can get it kind of tight and then back off quarter turn. So there we go, now we gotta try to find that hole in all this goop. Turn the two second job into a problem. But it's not a problem. All right, I like that a lot better. dry in there I'd go ahead and grease it we'll try the other side and I might edit this to make it look like I did a better job uh, sprayer fits on it my big 72 inch mower will fit on it well nothing else fit on it when I'm carrying that so I'm gonna have to pick and choose my jobs or run back and forth and get the get the mow some and come back and get the, the big mower for spraying all right Sad day, happy day, happy day. I got something I can go to work on. Sad day, I can't take all my junk with me on my 24 foot enclosed. But uh, traveling light today. We'll show you 
what I'm packing from my trip. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my 52 inch stand on. Got a glyphosate sprayer. And up here in jail, I got a blower, a uh, string trimmer, hedge trimmer, and a gas can. Roughing it. But you can see, uh, let me get in here. I devised some special tie downs, uh, green touch. I'll let you know how this works. If you want to use it, we can talk. Okay, to secure my string trimmers up here, I wrapped a rubber bungee cord on them. And then I wedged my gas can in between them. So. Yeah, I, I almost forgot. I'll throw in a little trimmer line. Now we're good to go. All right. This will be an adventure. Here we go. Alright, for everybody that missed this last time I did it, and everybody who doesn't have one of these yet, this is the trimmer head you need. This is the Shindiawa Speed Feed Head. I got these several years ago when I used to run uh, Shindiawa trimmers. Good trimmers, by the way. And... Now that I, I'm running different stuff, I run a Red Max now. I had steel and I put them on it. But they, they got a universal one that'll fit anything. So, all you gotta do, load you some string in it. Usually, if you, I got it on this lift up part here, so it's a little high, but usually when you got them on the ground there, it's easier to stretch that string out. Boom, you're in business. String trimmer don't get any easier than that. That's the head you need. Shandiwa Speed Feed. Getting ready to hit this one. This is a Zoysia Yard color. It's fantastic. This is a uh, We've been doing some spray in here and fertilizer and I mow it with the walker, but I don't have the walker. I got the uh, quick cat, so he's gonna have to get mulched today, but I got this in it. I got two little spots of it. I don't know if you can see that one. About about right there, but I know it's hard to identify weeds on film, <laughs> but I don't know what the hell this is, but it's obviously something that Celsius won't kill because it didn't didn't phase it. What the hell are you? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna mow you down. Out here in the middle of the yard, there's a scraggly rose bush. Do be sure he'll let me cut that down. <laughs> we'll show you something here next door. Uh, I gave the neighbor in the spring a price to keep this uh, fescue up for him. And uh, instead he got a guy who's a golf course superintendent, so the dude knows what he's doing. But it's gonna show you that uh, summer survival is the name of the game in the tall fescue world. See how the sun's hitting it direct right now? Roasting it. I don't know if I could have done any better, but that's the, the basis of everything I try to do for fescue is, is just things to try to get it to survive this heat down here. Fescue is real out of place in this part of the world. Anyway, on to the next victim. It's my new office. I didn't know, but it had a name. Name's Leonard. Oh crap, I forgot to pack a push mower. Okay, mowing along on my fescue here and I noticed a little something. I don't know how well it shows up on video, but the grass is all flopped down like it's uh, been water running over it. Well, that's a telltale sign we got a sprinkler problem. And then I come over here and I look 
We're right beside the driveway, so somebody probably came and hit that thing while it was popped up. And there's the oh, there's the top of it. That right there, my friends, is an old damn sprinkler here. Let's see if we got a date on it. K Rain. That thing is old. We'll see if I got one on the truck. I'm gonna stick it in if I do. I know I got one in my trailer that I don't have because I've got Leonard with me. All right, but I gotta still edge this up. I'm gonna check on us some availability on a sprinkler head, and I forgot to push mower to go in the gate. Hmm, so much junk in here. Aha, uh -huh. we're in luck. Okay, I'll be careful digging these up because there's a, a wire for the for the valve running right here along with the sprinkler head. That's kind of weird, but then again, this thing was <coughs> put in a long time ago. But you just unscrew the old one, screw the new one back on it like so. <coughs> Here's the other thing. I have no clue where this thing's going to be aiming. And they're at the beach, so I can't get to the control box in the garage. We'll have to come back later and work on that. Did K Rain. Sorry, K Rain. All right. Back to work. Really, Leonard? You're going to be put in jail if I don't get some lights on you. All right, Leonard, let's go to the store and see if we can find some parts for these lights. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching today. We got through about a, a dozen lawns with old Leonard there today. Um, I'll have to, I gotta get out of the sun. I'm gonna have to go back and get the sprayer if I'm gonna spray anything. I don't think I'm gonna get it today. But uh, we're getting, well, not really, but I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. So to help inspire people to subscribe, I've got a giveaway. I'm gonna give away, courtesy of Wallet Small Engine and Red Oak, a Bobcat 72 inch mower t-shirt. And courtesy of Maharan, a Maharan hat. Well, let me see if I can get my Bobcat 72 inch to you. Oh, I'm gonna have to lay it down somewhere where you can see how cool it is. All right. Really? There it is. It says mean green grass kicking machine. And the design's actually on the back. Got a Bobcat logo on the front. All right. So, when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll put out a video and, uh, Get y'all to make some kind of comment. Whoever makes a comment, I'll put y'all's name in a list. And you can choose from the Sweet Maharan hat or the 72-inch Bobcat mower t-shirt. All right. That's about it for today. Uh, I got I met with the guys at Maharan, and uh, they gave me a hat to give away. And... Uh, also, they got some products that are root stimulants that I might be looking at um, when it's time to seed fescue. So uh, I'm supposed to talk to the rep from the actual company and uh, see how it will apply to turf grass. But the uh, guy I know at Maharan, he, he says that they use a ton of it um, on grassy type crops. You know, corn is kind of like a grass and stuff, but said it works real well. So we're gonna give that a shot, I think. It's not cheap though, but it, uh, the initial jug is not cheap, but the rate is pretty low, so it's probably a decent value. But uh, anyway, old fescue's hanging in there. Got my sprinkler head put on. I like I said, I don't know where it's gonna be shooting at, but uh, that's about it for me today, guys. I always appreciate y'all watching. Click that like button, subscribe, comments love to answer your comments anyway guys till next time thanks